better right now. Let's get started. And for the benefit of your good hearing, I'm plugging in my, my lapel microphone right now. And let me know if this sounds better. Does this sound better right now? Better? Or just now? Was, was just now better or is this better? I've got my lapel mic on right now. Is this better? Same? Okay. All right. So um, the, the first thing that I want to... Um, I want to do is, you know, basically show you uh, what an automated system looks like. Okay, and uh, what an automated system is is that, you know, like I, I like for instance, like I have I have a couple of systems um, right here, and right now you probably see on my screen is this Microsoft Remote Desktop. So, by the way, if there's any one of you out there who uses a Mac, this is the best uh, VPS client. VPS is, means virtual private server. Uh, you have that, uh, I mean, virtual private servers are usually like set up on Windows. It can be a Linux, uh, but you know, for most of the EAs, we just work with Windows. So mine are on Windows and you can see it right here. So um, a VPS can hold a few different uh, ins installations of EA at the same time, okay? And over here, you can. Uh, this is like this is what uh, my Fireboss V2 looks like. It's also called the Binary Lab Hedging EA version 2.05. There are many versions before this, and this is the latest version. What's good about this version is that this version, um, you know, has one third of the floating risk of my previous ones. I'll explain a little bit more about the hedge later on, but I mean, this is this is like this is like how uh, what it looks like. And you know, I, um, what's good about this one, the way I've made it is I can very easily uh, keep track of how much each um, each of these each of these pairs are making. I mean, obviously, some are making, some are losing. But um, you know, for those of you who know a little bit about EAs, well, uh, you will know that for a fund size such as this, uh, this is this is currently like a nine k account. Um, I mean, a forty-eight dollar floating loss is peanuts. Yeah, you can, you can, you can thank me later, or you can praise me later, but I mean, like, it's peanuts because of the way I've set it up. So, uh, I've made it in such a way that you know the floating loss will not amount to much. And I'll, I'll tell you how I, how I derive these stats later on. And some of you will be interested, some of you will not be interested. Some of you will like be like, you know, I, I just want to make some money, automate it. I don't really want to bother about these things. So uh, when, I'm, when, I, when I'm presenting this to you, uh, there's gonna be like two or three groups of people. The first group is like, you know, I just wanna make some money online, I don't really care how, but I just wanna know that it works. Uh, the other group is that, you know, I, uh, that looks kinda interesting. I wanna, I wanna play around with that. Uh, if, I, if I could learn how to play around with it, then, you know, I, I, would, I would love to be able to play around and find out how these things work. So for instance, you know, I could simply, uh, you know, just to show you what the meaning of playing around is, okay. Um, I'm going to be, I'm going to be putting on one of these indicators. Uh, I think it was, hang on, let's just load up, let's load up one of my recent tests. I think this is the aggressive set, okay. Load this up. And I'm gonna load up one of these currency pairs. I actually have a video of this, and you guys, you guys can see it. it I, like uh, one of my one of my users, he created a side by side test, um, and yeah, it was it was really interesting. So uh, just gonna put this on to testing. Of, okay, so let's go for this. So yeah, this is, this is such a test and this is how it works. And you can actually tweak these settings in that, like for those of you who are really interested, um, I will teach you how to tweak these things. I have videos made of this and every week, uh, you know, I, I, ded I dedicate time to, to run like uh, webinars to explain and, and show you how to do stuff. Uh, but just in case you wanted to know how this works, well, I mean like I can show you in real time. So this is, this is like uh, how this works, and you can kind of watch it for a bit. I can even speed this up. 
and it speeds things up because everyone's impatient, right? <laughs> that was too fast. Let's try it again. Okay, here we go. So this is basically uh, how this works. And depending on how I change my settings, it could take profit more often, it could stop loss more often. And you could see like over there, like what just happened, there was another trade that took place. Look how these numbers jump. Um, look at the pips that it collects, okay? That's a new trade right there. Okay, did, did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see that? It, it kind of just exited the trade. So, I mean, once again, this is in for sales. Say that, that's close again. All right, you see that? So what you're seeing here, okay, uh, earlier it was, uh, it was a trend following model and now it is in, it is in the hedging model. Um, if I run these side by side at the same time, uh, what you're gonna see is that how they kind of balance each other out. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put on a student's video, but okay, anyway, what, what I meant to show you here, uh, it's like this, this is for a second group of people who just want to play around, have more control. So you can, you can tweak it as much as you like. I mean, heck, this is like a, uh, it's almost like an open source and I'm giving you, there's a lot of settings that you can play around with. And uh, once again, some of you won't know what all this means. Some of you will never know what this means. Some of you could be intrigued and you know, I'll teach you how to do that. Um, but at the end of the day, like uh, there's, there's going to be a third group of people as well. It's like, you know, uh, what's what's better? You know, I, I, I want to make some money. I also want to make the best possible return. Uh, but I don't really know where to start. So uh, maybe you guys could let me know which group that you fit in. Okay. You fit in the first group, second group, third group. I'd like to know uh, what what kind of makes sense to you. Okay. You could type in the chat. You could type it in the, you could type it in the Facebook group. Okay, once again, this webinar is here for me to explain to you how this works, uh, to introduce to you automated trading. And the point of this being uh, automated trading is that, you know, it really is automated. So it's a set, uh, I would say, it's, I wouldn't say a set and forget system, but it's a set and run system, but it also can be a set and forget system. So uh, what it actually means is that, okay, well, what, okay what, well, what, what group do I recommend? I, that's really up to you. <laughs> um, let's put it this way, okay? The system that I've created, um, Fire Your Boss, okay? It's, uh, it's a system that is kind of, kind of like uh, self, uh, it's self run or rather, like for those of you getting on the PAM system, uh, the PAM, okay, the, I, I'm gonna just type things out so that you guys will know exactly what's what, okay? So there are a few different, uh, three different ways to get involved. By the way, how many of you guys uh, know me from before or in my groups? Uh, okay, the first group is like uh, you just, just want to make money uh, automated. You don't want to have to worry about anything technical. Two, um, you find this interesting and you want to be able to control your return uh, either maximize or moderate to your liking. Okay, the third group, the third group is gonna be, okay, most of you uh, are gonna be in the first two groups. The third group though, is that, well, you are not too sure. You'd like to get started and then uh, may want to get more involved. So the, the third group really is a combination of first two. So can I, can I get you guys to type in one, two or three in this chat, okay? 
I, I, I really need to know where you guys, which position you're coming from so that I can, you know, speak the right things to you. Okay, of course I could speak about everything, but I mean, if you guys are mostly ones, I'm going to speak more about that. If you guys are mostly twos, I'm going to speak more about that. If you guys are threes, I'll speak about a little bit of everything. Or if I have an even number of ones and twos, then I will speak, uh, you know, I will speak about, I'll, I'll speak like, uh, you know, a balance, okay? So just let me know, just let me know like what's, what's you, and then that way, once again, you can type it either here. Hey there, Michael. Uh, good, good, to, uh, good to hear from you again, okay? Just reloading this, this page. In the meantime, uh, what I have here is my different profiles, okay? So one sec, I'm just gonna pause my screen. I'll do something private over here. Today. By the way, happy April Fools. And it would have been funny if I forgot this webinar, wouldn't it? <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of a funny story. I, I woke up this morning, I was like, I, well, I know it. I know I have something to do. What is it? And I was just about to get out of the house. I, I know I have something very important to do this morning, but I, just, I was like, uh, well, do I have an appointment? And I was just heading out. And I was like, that's right. Before it's, before it's on me at training webinar today, <laughs> I ran back up there. <laughs> okay. Um, by the way, what you're looking at is the first system that I've created, V1.1. Is the one that's been running for the longest period of time, totally automated. I haven't done anything to it, um, and uh, it's basically you know made like thirty percent, uh, like three months. So it's I mean it's about ten percent, like over here as you can see, nine point six one percent per month, it's almost ten percent per month. Um, drawdown was that okay? Drawdown is like you know the biggest uh, drop in the account. I don't think it ever came to that much. Um, I think these figures are a bit messed up. So, but well, you, you can basically see how, how it is. It's like, as you can see from this chart, it never went more than, never went more than negative 12. I think it's like negative, negative like 11 or something. No, look, it's negative 9%. So it's not even negative 10. So I don't even know where, where this figure get, comes from, but that's, that's the accurate amount. You can see in terms of equity, 9%, pretty good, right? So I'm very, very proud of this system to begin with. But, I mean, this is not uh, this is not the system that you guys are going to be getting into, or on, or be able to play with. So let me just hop back into that Facebook group and see. Um, oh dear, what is happening with this? Get back to this group and see like how you guys are uh, polling, so I can. I see, I see some threes. Okay, uh, Josephine says first group, uh, Michael first group. Um, I think I think we have we have you know like a bit of a bit of everything. Uh, do we have Do we have any twos over here? Any twos? Rogelio, okay, two. Okay, cool. So I think it's quite an even split. I'm just gonna explain about everything else. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, just so you know, uh, I, I I popped a. My, my typical Ritalin pill, uh, half a tablet, just about 10 minutes ago. So uh, there will come a point in this webinar that I'll get very hyper and I'll get, I'll, I'll get you know, very robust and get, I'll, I'll, I'll start, I may speak, start speaking faster when I'm able to process more information at the same time. So I, I actually suffer from two different uh, illnesses, uh, mental illnesses, uh, ADHD, which is attention uh, hyper deficit disorder, um, and uh, I also suffer from Asperger's syndrome. So the first one makes me very absent-minded. It also makes me very all over the place. Um, and the second one, uh, it, it kind of, uh, that's the reason why I get very absent-minded, so I forget stuff. So just don't, don't hold it against me. And like, I, I tend to have this tendency to be late for stuff, but today I actually, I actually remembered uh, early enough to start my webinar on time. So. Uh, 
in case you ever come into the community and you find that you know I'm not there, it's not because it's not it's not necessarily because you know I'm irresponsible or whatever, but I genuinely forgot. And Catherine has been with me for like four years, and she can testify to that. That <laughs> I, I know it's a bit frustrating on her end, but that's exactly what happens. So I could turn up like an hour early, an hour late, you know, sometimes, and and it's because of that. Uh, the other thing, the other thing that I, the other syndrome that I have is Asperger's, which makes me a little bit of an emotional retard. So um, all the girls I've dated in the past, including my wife, uh, they they have to complain that. Um, you know, like it's frustrating communicating with me sometimes because I just unable to process uh, emotion there and then. Uh, and that's actually very frustrating for me as well. I actually prayed about it when I went to church yesterday and I had a very powerful message. I'll share with you more of that in a, in a, in a YouTube video because I think it's a message that everyone should know. Um, but how that relates to this, okay? Like for me, for me, I'm actually able to look at all these charts um, and you know when I look at these charts I, I it, it makes me able to to notice patterns very easily in my head and I can actually calculate things uh, okay I, I'm not that good with numbers but I can calculate things in a very visual way uh, I can kind of like figure out how things will work even before confirming it on the computer so that that's a special ability that I have and that's for those of you in a binary lab or for its learning group that's exactly how I'm able to create, you know, uh, different strategies all the time. It doesn't take me a lot to create a new strategy. It, only cre it, it takes me at most like, you know, three days. But many a time, you know, I, I, could, create a, I could create a strategy uh, a, a day if I wanted to. So that's my ability. And the funny thing is like, for those of you in the binary lab, we actually do have my cousin who comes in every afternoon. And my cousin, he gives, he gives trading signals in the binary lab group. Uh, every afternoon, I, I have my, I have my what do you call that? My, my telegram shut at the moment, um, but I do have, I do have my line running right now. I'm just trying to find that. This moment, I'm gonna close the window because it's way too much noise. So, like for instance, right, this, uh, like my cousin, he actually goes uh, on every London session, stays on, stays on there and, you know, posts like all these setups, like what's happening. And I mean, these are, these are like, uh, those ads case studies. So actually what's going to happen is that, for example, you know, he's going to post up stuff like, um, uh, you know, watch this one, what kind of trade it is, what time frame. He does that uh, every afternoon. So, like, I was sitting, in, I was sitting down with him a couple of days ago, and I, and he was sharing me a new a new method that he he came up with, and he wanted me to teach uh, in my group. And he said, like, you know, could you could you teach this uh, thing to the people in the group so that um, you know, like, so that I can use it in my in my sessions because if they don't know what to do, then they're not going to be able to take part in these trades. And I personally think that this method is working right now. So I, I, I looked at the method and I, I tried to, uh, you know, when, when I looked at it, I was like, I tried to re-explain it uh, to him because, uh, you know, I wanted to test that my understanding was correct. So I showed him a couple of setups and I instantly, I instantly uh, talked about something else about, you know, touching the Bollinger Band. I, I need to, it needs to touch one and two before you know the setup can happen okay so it needs to be a touchdown one touchdown two before crossing then then uh so i asked him did you mean that and then he said um now that you mentioned it i mean that he said that's not what i meant but now that you mentioned it it makes a lot of sense that we have that confirmation that it should touch the bands on either side before before we go for that trade like a uh, touch one touch two and boom and that you know let's say uh, so there needs to be a touchdown. Then, then uh, you said, "How do you figure out?" Well, I thought that's what you said. So, so that's that's me. You know, like um, I, I think calling myself a genius would be a bit too much of a stretch. But I, I let's just say I do have abilities. Uh, 
you know, especially pattern recognition. So that's what I'm good at. I'm not the best. I'm 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 not the best interpersonal person. I suck at I suck at selling. Um, so that's also the reason why, like I say, you know, if any questions about this, go ahead and ask it. Uh, I'm 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 very bad at sticking to a plan, and I usually make things up as I go. So, uh, with regards to trading, for those of you who come in on an automated system, okay, what what that basically means is that um, you basically will be on a system such as this, and you'll be getting like these returns, and like for a small. Uh, commission on profits, okay? Um, the system that's currently running is this one. This is the system. It doesn't mean monthly 3%. That's because the month is not over yet. It just started for a few days because I redid my settings and I restarted it out. But you can see on, um, in terms of absolute drawdown, okay, so that's, that's actually, I, this is highly inaccurate. This is the, this is the actual figures, minus 0 0.46. Uh, the early system that I showed you was like minus nine. Minus nine is really very good because if any of you have been in a managed system before, um, a lot of these systems out there go to like minus 30, minus 40. I can honestly tell you something, okay? Because, you know, like heck, these are, these are my accounts. I mean, the, this is a real account. This is a real account. I'm starting another account very soon because by the way, for those of you in Canada and Europe, yes, I'll be able to send you as well because we just got a new broker partner um, that is finally able to accept Canadians and people in Europe, people in UK and offer a decent leverage. Okay, it's not gonna be one to 1,000, it's gonna be one to 500. That's the next best thing. Okay, but most importantly, you can do it. Okay, and I have some good news and bad news. Uh, Catherine, could you post the, the countries for me in, in the group? Because I want, I want people to know what countries uh, can do PAM and what countries can't do PAM. Because sometimes some of you may want to be on a fully automated, but you may not even be able to do that. Okay, so there's going to be a group of people that uh, will have to, no matter what, just do this on yourself, by yourself, on your own system. The good news is, is I've also spoken a deal with a broker that like for 500 deposit and above, you can actually, uh, you can actually get you know, a free hosting service. But if you run it yourself, you need to know that if you're running it with a smaller balance, your risk is gonna be a lot higher than someone who's starting with a, with a higher balance because of margin, okay? These things we more explain in a series of webinars. Um, I know it sounds kind of abstract. I wish you go into detail, but I don't want to bore uh, people of the unnecessary details uh, as well. So, you know, if you have any direct questions um, and if, if you could ask them, then, you know, I would be able to, yeah, I, I would be able to, uh, you know, feel more at ease when explaining certain things to you because, you know, part of, part of, my, part of my problem is that I just tend to think ahead too much. I tend to think ahead and, and prejudge stuff. So um, yeah, that, that's part of the syndrome that I have. So sometimes, you know, I don't explain as much as I should, or I explain assuming that people know when people don't exactly know. So please ask me questions. Jayco, this is the, just the new link. <clears throat> you can check it out. Um, what I love about this new system is that the profit factor is very high. So I could compare this with with the previous, and uh, and we just have them side by side. Okay, I'm gonna have it side by side. Just a moment. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a uh, side-by-side -side analysis so you guys can see it. All right, well, this is the old system. I wanna I want to show you the stats, okay? Uh, look at the profit factor, 1.44. New system, 5.96, okay? Uh, 
what this basically means is that, I mean, you give a mouse over and it shows you like uh, how many times a gross profit exceeds a gross loss. So higher the value, the better. And then the next thing that I want to show you is the, which one was it? There was one that is, oh, it's not, it's not on this analysis. Uh, it is actually on this one right here. So I'm going to show you based on the history. Yo, oh, we just had some trades close. Aussie USD. Oh, these ones, okay. The buys previously it just closed out. And that's quite a big profit. Okay. Um, here it is. <clears throat> so the other thing I wanted to show you is if you look in the results right at the bottom, uh, expected payoff. Okay, what's expected payoff? You take you take um, you take one of this divided by the other one, and you get you get that. Actually, I think if you take this one divided by this, and you get this. So this is kind of like an efficiency score. Um, if you like, you know, that means that you're making a lot more profit than what you're losing. And over here, it says maximum draw on 0 0.11. So it's amazing stats. Um, again, you can thank me later. Um, this system, I've, you know, I've tweaked it so much. Uh, and I, I dare say that it's very, very close to being a perfect system. The only thing else that I want to do is for it to create like a, uh, what do you call it? You know, a perfect hedge where they won't, or either, either a perfect hedge or one where it overcompensates for loss um, so that you know, can keep a, net, a positive discrepancy going. I'm gonna to explain to you positive discrepancy in, in a moment as well. Um, so I wouldn't have you too lost with this. Okay, this is the old system. Some of you may be asking, you know, can we do, uh, like we can't decide if you're group one or group two. Uh, can we do both at the same time? I actually do have some people who are in on the automated trading with me. So they just basically don't have to do any service setup. They just follow my signal for a commission. Uh, so I, I give you that choice, by the way, okay? Because I do know that some people don't want to have anything to do with it, but some of you want to do everything by yourself. And that's perfectly fine. You can choose either one. Um, if, you, if you want me to manage it, obviously you have to pay like a, a, through the system. Uh, there is a commission on performance, which goes to me. But if you want to manage it yourself, there's no extra fees. The only request that I have is that for, if you want to manage it yourself, there is a minimum deposit uh, for, your, for your trading account. And it has to be verified by admin before your EA can be given to you. Um, and the EA will be only assigned to that particular account number because I mean, this, this is what protects me. I mean, I could sell this and actually, yes, I, some of you can, may also want to buy this and you, you can buy my system and I'll give you my regular updates or settings for like six months. And um, you, can, you can run it everywhere you want, but that's gonna, it's, it's gonna be a little bit less worthwhile because I'm gonna charge you a little bit more for that. Um, so anyway, look at this one. If you take the net profit divided by the gross loss, you get the expected payoff that's only such. So what would you rather, okay? Um, and I also had another account that, that had, uh, I mean the previous version, there was like more wins. Actually, if you look at this one right here, the, the winning, the percent win is only 62%. You're thinking, well, what, what, why is that? There's a very good reason for that because I've adjusted the algorithm in a way it takes profit to be one uh, that uses an economics concept, uh, which is the, is that, uh, 
economics. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so this is this is a concept that I have programmed into my system. It will write the trade, uh, and at a point when there's diminishing returns and the, the yield, it's it's going to be a little bit past the the maximum yield. Okay, going to be a little bit past the maximum yield, and then um, it will basically it will basically just cut the trade. And shortly after that, the trades are gonna run. So I have some videos on that on YouTube. You can go check it out. I, I, I talked about like, for instance, like how the last one was New Zealand. The last one that happened was New Zealand. Yeah, okay. It's still there, still there. Okay, look at this, look at this. This is the buys, okay? And on the sells, you know, I had a sell that, that started all the way here. You know that I had a cell that picked up over over a uh, hundred pips, like hundred and forty or so. The cell started higher than that. So what happened was that on the way up, on the way up, uh, it actually exited somewhere just around here, where it's diminishing diminishing returns, and shortly after that, you know, it went into recovery. So yeah, that, that, is, that is the economics concept at work. So there's a lot of logics that I put into this. I put in like seven months into the system. It is a brilliant, uh, it's a brilliant system that, you know, you, you, will, you will definitely be amazed at that, I guarantee you. Um, when you come into uh, this group, okay, you will be able to be added into... this group it's a chat okay and i'll be showing you i'll be showing like this video created by one of my members um so in this chat group initially i wanted to make it like a one-way a one-way discussion for those of you who know binary lab from like years ago you will know that um i actually dumped it from the big group to go to a small elite group well Honestly speaking, I kind of regret the decision because I missed the fellowship that we had. All right. So if any of you uh, were in that big group and, you know, did not fall on to the, the elite group that we had um, and you felt left out, I apologize. Okay? I sincerely apologize. I felt there was a mistake. But at the same time, uh, at, a, at a point of time, it was getting so active there were like 300 people hopping to a webinar each time and i remember there was a week or uh, two weeks that i constantly had to upgrade my webinar subscription on the spot and then it got to the point that for days on end there would be people hacking my system to vandalize my screen and after we got rid of one there'll be another and another and another and it was just disturbing you know the the whole thing that i was like so sick and tired of it and there was poaching from people uh, poaching happening going on, people poaching people from my group to go to other groups. Uh, there were people who worked for me uh, to manage certain groups of people in that group. They were and they were backstabbing me at the same time. So I, I was like, you know, I, I just had enough at one point. All right. So once again, if you were affected, I apologize. And coming back to this chat group, the reason why I mentioned that was because. Uh, initially, I wanted it to be a one-way communication so that I would not have any of that stupid drama anymore. But at the same time, I do realize that there will be people um, who genuinely have questions. And for some people, there's a lot of money at stake. Because some people out here, you're not just looking to make like 10% on 30 bucks. No, sorry, 10% on 300 bucks or 500 bucks, which by the way, is as little as you can get, get started with. Okay, because I've spoken to the brokers and how PAM works. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna explain this in the group. Okay, now I think you can, you can feel that my, 
my medication is working because I'm starting to go, go a bit all over the place. <laughs> and I'm starting to think a lot of things at the same time. And, and the best part about this is that when I'm on medication, I can actually resume, resume different trains of thought. I used to have that problem where I get into arguments with like friends and family when I'm doing something important and they cut me off and I just ju can jump back to it at any time. So um, depending on how you wish to get started, one, two, or three, okay. Uh, here's how it's going to be. One. Um, uh, for full automation, you join a PAM account to copy my traits by proportion. Okay, so this is the biggest breakthrough. Um, and this is the thing that will allow you to test out my system with real funds to see if it works, okay, without risking a lot of money up front. So I just spoken to the brokers that you can actually start with as little as 300, okay? You cannot start as a, with just 300 on your own personal account doing the system on a VPS because your money management is gonna mess up. You, uh, the minimum lot size is alone is gonna, you know, like for lack of a better word, to, like, you know, uh, um, the, the F word, it's gonna F up your account. Yeah, it's gonna F up your account. Um, so PAM allows you to break that rule in minimum, a minimum position size because it's something called percentage um, allocation money management. So this is really, really cool. So example, uh, normally you need at least uh, 1,000 to run my system even at 0, 0.0 lots. Actually, it's not one, you need 500, but I mean like, I, my minimum deposit is 1,000 for, for new members, existing members, you can speak to Catherine, now. You, you can come in for 500 if you want, but just know, just know that your risk is higher, okay? Just know that your risk is higher and you have to be okay with that. For example, um, if you are an existing member and yes, you can come in with five, uh, with 500 just to try things out on your own VPS and everything, just know that your maximum drawdown has to be higher, like 20%. And you have to be okay with that. If you're not, either do a PAM or deposit more money. Simple as that. Okay, I'm just being very straightforward with you. I, I don't wanna withhold any information. And I don't wanna make things sound better than it is because like in this world of automated trading, there's a lot of sharks out there. We, we, I've unfortunately um, made a partner out with two sharks in the past. And what always happened, right? It may not have been deliberate that it fucked up. What happened was because they were too busy trying to meet everyone's demands. One guy could we say, hey, it's, make, it's earning so slow. Um, why are we only doing 10% per month? I want 20. And then they'd be like, okay, fine. I'll raise it to 20. And then another guy comes along and says, 20%? Heck, that's too little. I want 25. And like, okay, I could figure that out. The partner, right? 25. And and, and uh, next guy comes along, 25, uh, I see other people out there doing 100% a month, but I think that's too much risk. I could settle for 35. You see what happens? So they try to meet everyone's demand and they raise the risk, raising the maximum possible drawdown. But the problem is that like maybe it's oversight Maybe, but now I know everything how this works. Okay, I know I, I've spent like seven months knowing the ins and outs of automated trading. 
And I, I know how this works. And speaking of which, the way I derive my settings, how many of you want to know how I derive my settings? Anyone? You can type this in the chat. Um, I, I'm going to just pre-post this and I'll edit it later. You can type this in the chat. You can type in the group. How many of you actually want to know my settings? How I derive it? Anyone? If, if there's no one, I'm just not, I'm not going to explain. I'm going to continue typing this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, do I have another person as well? Okay, KS says yes. So it's, it's really simple. It's really simple, yeah. Um, I'm going to give you the gist of it. And when I say the gist of it, I'm not withholding anything. And you, you will soon learn that this is true, okay? So you see in the New Zealand USD that between, between like uh, midweek last week, there was a huge drop, huge drop. Like two, um, let, me, let me see how, how, how big this drop was. It's not, it wasn't that big. It wasn't that big. I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you something else. I think this would be even bigger. Yeah. <clears throat> so this this is a fairly big drop for ordinary day. There's nothing to do with elections, nothing to do with news. Okay, but okay. Well, you you may notice it's GBP, <clears throat> GBP Great Great British Pound. And there is the uh, Great British Pound, they're, they're having the Brexit, or that I'm in, I'm not in. No, we're going to stay in U the, the, the EU. No, we're getting out of it. So it's like, well, whatever. I mean, from where, from where I can come, well, from where I'm coming from, it's like, um, you can do whatever heck you want. Just don't mess up the markets. <laughs> so anyway, we have an event such as this. <coughs> so what you do, is you go into your strategy tester and when you are doing your strategy tester, you go to the settings page and you go to the calendar, okay? So what, what you would do is that you will go to the point maybe like one week before and one week after that piece of news and then you pick the same pair. And I'll, I'll teach you in detail how to do this. I'm just showing you a very, a very brief version, okay? And then uh, what you do is that you're going to click optimize. I already have some things already done. Um, and then you click start. So the date is already selected. The pair is already selected. And what's going to happen is that you're going to have a bunch of different results. It's going to range from very profitable to not so profitable. And because I have, I have a setting to filter out maximum drawdown. For example, you know, this is a very small account. So I set, I set up like uh, nothing more than 5%. Okay. But of course, if I raise my risk to a higher amount, that was five is nothing. Let's make it 20. Oops, 29 is way too high. You know what? Let's not make it 20. Let's make it like, uh, let's make it 10. Uh, let's make it 15. This is a small account, 15. And then over here, I'm going to set it slightly higher than 15, maybe 18. Why is that? Because I want to prevent against slippage. Okay, so let's run this again. You're going to get very interesting results this time. Just now the highest was like 400 bucks, right? Now we're going to get something different. And mind you, mind you, this is with, this is with how much account? This is with a starting value of 10,000. Okay. Um, oh, heck, why is it 10,000? It was supposed to be 500. Yeah, 500. So let's just do it again. Uh, 
Okay, check this out. So it means that, you know, none of these settings will work for 5,000. No, so for, for, for 500 bucks. None of these will work over that period of time. All would die. Okay? All would die. So you must be asking me at this point, oh, that sucks. Well, this serves to prove two things. 500 is too little. That's one thing. But you know what? I've got you covered. You know why? Because I have different pairs that, that I, I recommend that you work with. But at the same time, you are not totally messed up. And here's why. Notice that I have a separate EA for every different currency pair. Okay, I want you to notice that. I have a sep. you see, I have one doing buy, one doing sell. One doing buy, one doing sell. They function independently, okay? And this is, I mean like, why didn't I make it onto one? Well, number one is difficult, this is easier. Number two, independent function is best because what if the news only affects one currency pair? Why should that be allowed to affect the rest of your portfolio? Why then did I set such a high, high amount for the maximum drawdown? There's a reason for that. The reason for setting the high amount in the drawdown is because if you're starting with 500 bucks or 1,000 bucks, you're probably only, only going to be able to run one pair, not multiple pairs. And I obviously have safer pairs to recommend you that's going to be less successful than news. But let's get to this topic. How are we going to resolve this problem? That the fact that, you know, like running on this balance, you know, it's, 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 everything is going to go kaput, right? Like I said, we have a buy and a sell. This one was set to be sell. Now let's change the buy, okay? Okay. <laughs> This means that for both the buy and the sell, hang on, it's not, it's allowed yet. Okay, let's see if we get any profitable settings at all. This pair cannot be done. Okay, is, is that, is that, is that, is that great? This means to say, okay, so this, um, okay, why, why am I saying this great? I'm not being sarcastic or anything. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not taking you guys for a joke, but <clears throat> the, the way that I do my settings is that I look for big events in the history. I, I, can, I can go through Yahoo, um, I can go through Yahoo, Yahoo Finance, I can go through Daily FX and whatnot. I look out for crashes. In case I did, don't see it, I, I will look out for like what search market crash. And, and here's a tip. Okay, here's a big tip for you guys. If you want to try this out, okay, when you're doing your testing, you simply search. Um, and up here. That's all you need to do, okay? So, for example, you can search like, You can search something like that. I type this in the chat. Okay. You can just do something like that and you can find information on when is the last time they crashed and you can, you can, you can do it. And then you can come to your, your, your system when you're making your own settings. I set a period of time before and after this and I run it. I see, can it work? So just now you saw with 10,000 it worked, but this one doesn't work. Right? Oh, you know what? You know what? This is not even the latest version and that's why. That's why this is not the latest version. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, let's try this again. Hang on, let's just see all the settings are correct. Yes. Yes, this is correct. Just now it was my old version. No wonder. No wonder. Because I thought my new version would have a better shot at this anyway. Let's do it all over again. See, 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 same dates, same dates, okay. My newer version can handle it. <clears throat> this is the latest version. So even that, it still can handle it now. Um, but that doesn't mean to say that we should work on this pair because what you do is that you try different pairs. This one is only what, like, 
like peanuts, uh, forty nine bucks in a week. Actually, that's that's quite good, isn't it? No, two weeks period. That's quite good, right? For such a small account, five hundred. That's quite good. Ten percent in two weeks is very good. Oh, that's quite good. It's very, it's very good. Um, send it back to buy. Let's try this out one more time. Let's see what results we get. So now I would like you to take note that that was just on the sell. Now it's on the buy. The sell, it made 49 bucks with the best result. On the buy, can make as much as 67 bucks on the result. But honestly, we're not gonna use the same setting no, sorry, we're not using different things. We're using the same thing for both because we don't know when the market is going to change directions, right? Right? So what I do next, very simple. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to pick like something in between like this. I'm just going to run a simulation, see how my graph looks like. That's not too bad. <clears throat> and now I, I look at my results. I see what is the biggest trade size that it went up to. 0 0.04. That's not too bad. Quite small, right? Yeah, I could deal with that. that, that that's, that's okay. Because it's not going up to a 0 0.2 <laughs> or something. That would be way too much. So this is okay. Now, I, use, I change this into a cell. And I try and see that with the same settings, how they work. That's not too bad at all. What do you know? Look, I just created some very good settings that would be able to handle this market. And that would actually make, um, like, well, this made how much? This made a gross a net profit of 41 plus 67, 100 bucks in two weeks. 20% in two weeks is 40% in a month. Solid. All right, everyone go join now. <laughs> okay, but just getting back to that point, okay, is when I create my settings, I like to identify different points in the chart with very big market crashes or market gains because this is what will kill all the normal Martingale systems out there. Mine may have Martingale, but it's not a Martingale system per se. It is hedging. Okay, it also has trend follow, and you know it has economics principle built into it. So I'm very proud of what I've created. Um, and I also want to show you, like we had some people who came on to my system. Where did it go? Where did it go? Over here. So. We have some people come on board just trying out with different sums of money. For example, this guy, uh, he started out with 500-ish or something, 500 plus. <clears throat> and he has since made 7.36 USD. This guy has made nine bucks. This guy has made, it's lost like two cents. I'm not sure how that happened. Uh, maybe it's timing. Um, this guy lost four. This guy, no, sorry, this guy made four, this guy made 20, this person 35. Uh, in fact, this, this person it was in the red uh, last week because he joined in. And what happens with uh, system is that it just closed your account in by proportion, any trades I have open. So he probably missed out on the trades that were profitable that opened before that and went in at a point where some of them were, were like, like, okay, just, just, just look at, just explain that. Um, <clears throat> I have trades running all the time, okay? So what if he came in here when some trades were already running, okay? So he missed out for some of the bigger ones. So it's like, it's not properly compensated. Is that a big problem? No, it's not a big problem. What I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say is that last week, I was looking at my stats. There was this one guy that was like negative four bucks. And I was like, how is that possible when everyone is, is in the green? And then today, ooh, you know, look what happened. He's 35 in, in the profit. This person's like five, um, 590, 14. That's quite a good yield for 800. All right. 
And it's just like days, just for days of work. It just started. Pretty cool, right? And the best part, you know, like I'm not asking for your account details. It's all done from your end. You simply go into the broker, link your account to mine. All these trades are not done with a trade copier. I want to, I want to, you know, um, cement that fact that these trades are not done by a trade copier. Um, there is so many trade copiers on the market. <clears throat> if you really wanted to find out, I could even tell you, you, you don't have to find it out yourself. There's a uh, T4I. Hmm. All right, FX blue trade copier. Um, that one's that one's pretty solid. Um, that's one empty for. I'm not sure what it's one of these ones. So there are so many of them. And and as a matter of fact, there's also inside FX book. When you go to systems, uh, you're gonna see that there are these ones that says auto trade or copy. It's on signal start. <clears throat> a lot of people ask me why I don't put my system on signal start. You know a real reason why? Who wants to know a real reason why I don't put my system on signal start? So I put my system on FX book to make everyone happy. But I'm not putting on auto trade. I'm not putting on signal start. Who wants to know why? You can type this in the group. Anyone? Okay, Joel, uh, Joel says why. Okay, because would you agree with me that depending on different part of the world, your account can be of different leverage? For example, if you don't know this regulated broker that I just signed up with last week, they are FCA regulated, okay? They have one to five leverage. They can offer that even to people in Canada <clears throat> and the UK, Europe. But if I did not know these guys, you would only be able to trade probably one to 50, one to 30, one to 100. And if I get these people, hey there, I see you guys, Jayco, Ruben. Yeah, thanks for all the participation. I really appreciate it. So back to what I was saying. Okay, yeah, look, see now my medicine is working, right? I can, I can get back to stuff like halfway. I can, I can literally like piece everything together. So um, like you can, if you are on the wrong leverage, you call my account, and if there's a market, if there's a, if a market movement like this, you're gonna get fried. Even if, even if, your account still has money. Even if you know your account, um, like you're only floating loss. <clears throat> maybe you are like only twenty percent down, but you can get hit by the broker because with that miserable leverage you'll be out of margin and you get a, mar uh, you get a margin call stop out. Sucks, right? So why do, I want, <clears throat> why do I want a bunch of people talking bad about my system when on my, on my, own, on my own system, on my own end, on my own FX book, you can see that my, my, my maximum drawdown is only like what? 0 0.4, 0 0.1, right? It doesn't make sense for people to clone me and you know they, they, they fuck up their accounts and they blame me for it because they're on the wrong leverage. And the other thing that happens is this. When you see there are so many systems here, isn't it very tempting for many of you to subscribe for all, a lot of them at the same time? Let me tell you something. <clears throat> My programmer, by the way, I found this programmer after a very long period of time. In the past seven months, I worked through over a dozen programmers. They're all idiots, generally. So either they, <clears throat> either they give up halfway or they do something wrong. <clears throat> but the last guy that did my system, you know why he can never be successful in trading? Because he runs multiple systems on his own account at the same time. So he's always burning his money. He doesn't understand the principle of you can not being able not not pushing your account 
Okay, uh, then I explain to you, the people who partnered me in the past, they <clears throat> they over over max the account, <clears throat> and because they over max the account, they had to they had to do all kinds of stupid shit with it, like to 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 do some stupid manual trading that ultimately made the demise of the account go much faster. I don't really know if they meant well. They could possibly set up a parallel account and, and, and use the situation to siphon money from one account to the other. That's possible. Or they genuinely tried to, to, to kind of like make some money to cover the, the, the loss to close other positions. I don't know. I, don't really, I really don't know. I, I can only tell you that I, I just don't work with them anymore. And I'd rather take everything in my own hands. So Catherine knows this. She, like, she knows that I, I <clears throat> right now, I'm not open to any partnership. I mean, yeah, sure, people can promote me. And you guys can also promote me. And by the way, if there's any one of you uh, out here that you know, have done a little bit of internet marketing, a little bit of affiliate marketing, or you know people who have invested in Saki systems, you can actually speak to us after this if you like to promote to get paid as well. That's good for you because then you can actually you know, have more money to trade with. You can have passive income. Because would it be true that some of you uh, I, 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 not knowing your backgrounds, okay? Um, but I, I can speak from experience. I have ever come from a very low place in life. Um, you know, like divorce, ex-wife took off a lot of my income kind of thing. Um, or let's say like, you know, just massive business failure. I've been through that as well. I had a, I had a traditional business in the past. It was a, it was a tennis academy kind of thing. Uh, we had six months of rain. I was just paying dead rent. I had to pay staff retainer, racked out a lot of debt, advertising, whatnot. So I've, I've been in a very, very low place in my life. And some of you may be in a very low place in your life, but you may have friends that you know who are not in a low place in your life and they're investing in sucky investment vehicles. You can even get paid by, by letting them know of a better investment vehicle and helping them make more money. Like for example, I have an ex-schoolmate. He right now owns... <clears throat> Uh, textile uh, factories across Southeast Asia. He's getting pissed because he's been in mutual funds that were supposed to make uh, 20 to 40 percent per year, but he's losing 15 percent per year. And over here, my system is capable of making 0.8 percent per day. So he says he definitely doesn't have a word with me because at the end of the day, looking at my maximum drawdown, this is so much better. And he doesn't mind paying 30% commission uh, on, on, on the earnings made because this is going to make so much more money in three months or four months, he could even break even all his past loss. And definitely, that's, he's not going to be trading with $300 accounts. It's going to be more like 300000 right? <clears throat> so you may know people like that and they can be a part of your success. You can be successful together. Okay. So um, if you're interested in that, go to my personal Facebook. Okay. I have, I have uh, a post. I think it's my third post. And I was shocked, humbled and flawed that, you know, 48 people commented to say that they would love to promote such a system. So at this point in time, I'm not open to partnership with anyone to promote other people's system, but other people can promote my system because I only trust my own system, right? <clears throat> so if you're, if you're interested, you can just drop, you can also drop a comment on, you can also drop a comment on this post and, you know, I'm, I'm going to be, because I didn't expect so many people to respond. I was shocked because I was wondering like, you know, I don't know. I don't I never, um, like, there was a point of time I did affiliates for Binary Lab, but uh, after a period of time, I either, either because I stopped looking for affiliates or, or I just totally forgot about it or something, I didn't realize that there's so many people that were actually waiting to work with me. And one of them actually messaged me privately. She was a major uh, publisher with a very famous uh, Forex uh, group. Okay, they do high ticket Forex items through ClickBank. And she asked me <clears throat> about my system and she said that she wants to promote it to her list. <clears throat> big time 
she has her own course. Legit trainer. Uh, doesn't do the usual bot scam people. She knows her shit. <clears throat> Eastern European. I, I, I ever promoted her program too because she teaches solid technical training. And she says she wants to promote my system because she identifies with the things that I, I do. Right? That, like, like, so I, I'm interested for these kind of partnerships. But anyone can actually promote as well. You know, like any one of you, uh, it may just be you know, friends and family. That's fine. That's fine. Because if you help your friends and family uh, have more money, don't you think you can do more things together? Don't you think that, you know, maybe this friend who's always been stuck at home on a Friday night because he's trying to struggle to make ends meet, don't you think he can at least start to come up with you guys maybe once a, once a month? Would that be good? Maybe someone went on a job but had like some kind of a retrenchment benefit, golden handshake of sorts. I'm not asking you to put everything here. You can obviously use, you should, you should responsibly save some of it to plan ahead for your daily expenses. But <clears throat> for what you can, you can start to invest some here through the PAM, all right? If you feel that you're not confident to do it by yourself, do it through the PAM and you can get uh, like, you know, enough profit to cover your electricity bill, your gas. And as you see that working out, you will then start to make more arrangements to have that not only cover your gas and your, your, your electricity bills. It's going to start covering, you know, your, your kids' pocket monies. It's going to start covering your kids' education and whatnot. Heck, you know, I, I did a calculation for someone that, um, like, okay, a guy from a, who's, who's an investment banker, lost his job, has a whole bunch of savings. I asked him how much was his basic pay without all the commission, because these guys get paid big money. So um, he said, right now, I, I'm not looking to replace, you know, 49K a month. I'm only, I'm only looking to replace my basic pay, which was like 8K a month. So I said, did you know that for just a month of your actual salary, <coughs> commission inclusive for 49K, you can get 8K a month. He was like, are you serious? I was like, well, yeah. That's exactly what you can do. And, you know, um, and he said, well, I, I, I only need 8K a month to, to do most of the things I usually do. And, and heck, you know, if I just put 8K, uh, if I get 8K a month on, on 49K, you know, the rest of the money that I have in the bank is still there. Is that one month of salary is not going to change my life. So the point of the matter is that, you know, one month of your current salary could potentially cover quite a lot of your stuff on the passive income that you can generate. And do not forget that this compounds. You want to know something even greater? <clears throat> Who, uh, which of you guys want to listen to something that's super, super exciting? Do we have any crypto investors in the house? How many of you is sitting on crypto that's in the red? Anyone? Anyone here planning to invest in crypto? Okay, if you are planning to invest in crypto, I can show you an even better way of investing in crypto. Once again, I'm not going off topic, it's so related to this. Do we have anyone sitting in the red on crypto? Maybe you bought in when, when you know, Bitcoin was 10,000, thinking it's a bargain. I'm speaking of personal experience, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so I, I, I do have a fair bit of, uh, of cryptos myself. Okay, so you have friends, okay? <clears throat> what if, mm, okay, uh, let me just walk you through my train of thought. It wasn't too long ago that I was thinking of liquidating my crypto to put in Forex, auto trading. <clears throat> Why auto trading? <clears throat> because honestly, I'm a I'm a pretty busy, pretty busy guy. Okay, three kids, uh, three cats. I don't have a dog right now, but 
I have to shuttle my kids to, to and fro school, like just 20 kilometers each way. There's no school buses when you do that trip. Um, so that, that and I, and I, I spent like half a day doing my strategic planning and whatnot. So I don't really have my time to trade. Okay, so I spent my time developing systems. So anyways, I was planning to liquidate uh, my crypto portfolio to put in Forex. But then I just found out, okay, I just found out there is a regulated crypto broker that's going to be coming to the market that allows you to deposit in crypto without changing it to a, a dollar balance. So it stays in crypto and you can grow your crypto portfolio with Forex, with my strategies at high leverage. Okay. So the keywords that you need to take note, regulated, high leverage, stays in crypto, grow your crypto balance. Okay. Huge. Just do the imagination. If you could double with compounding your crypto portfolio in six months, how much less of a bounce back in the markets do you actually need to break even? Right? That's just an idea. Okay. <laughs> That's just an idea. And so big idea, by the way, because I mean, you never know, like, uh, and you don't have to share who you know, who has, who has such a situation in the chat because you don't want other people contacting them and keep it to yourself. I will have information on that very soon. So in, in no time, I will say no time in probably like, you know, two, two, two weeks or a month or so that can start. But in the meantime, we can start here and in two, two weeks or a month from now, we can also trade with what you have in crypto. I mean, heck, you've, you've had so much drawdown, so much floating loss. What's, what's the 5% risk? What's the 10% risk? Nothing. So you can even go on my aggressive settings on that if you want. <clears throat> so what I have for you today is something that is just very baseline that everyone can get into. This is a one-size-fits-all system. I will have more systems to release, okay? In fact, I'm testing another system uh, for another one or two weeks. It is, it is a high turnover system, not because I want the turnover. Yes, sure, I, I make money from turnover, but um, the main point is that it can make money for you very aggressively as well. Something that is gonna be suitable for like people who don't have a lot of money, but need to make a lot of money. So it's a different algorithm. It's a different logic system. I'm working on that right now. Um, I just want to run it for another one or two weeks. Should you run two systems on the same account? No, that's suicide. Don't. Exactly why I explained that I don't want to put, ever want to put my system here. Because I cannot control what kind of people follow my system. I want people to trade responsibility. <clears throat> and so like uh, when that is ready, you guys can get on board as well. But please, with a different account. So you can have your master account on Fire Your Boss V2, but you can have a separate account, maybe like what, 500 bucks, a thousand bucks on this other system. Make sense? So that's gonna be aggressive. The target of that system is to make you like 30, 50% per month. This one's gonna remain in the 15 to 25% range. Okay, so one's gonna be ready, and the one's gonna be aggressive. I'm trying to see if I can make that do 5% a day. I'm trying right now. I'm trying to see if it, if, if it goes kaput or not. I'm, I'm just trying on different pairs. I have a lot, of, a lot of it running on a separate VPS. Why? Because I don't want to run too many on this VPS that could potentially mess up my, the stability of, of these ones. What if, what if my MT4 is crashed? So I'm, I have separate set of VPSs. So, um, Let's get back to this. I want to tie up the loose ends. I have, I've had you here for a little over an hour already. I want to tie up these loose ends and basically send you on your way. And, and for those of you who want to get started, you can get started and so on. Um, at this point of time, you know, when I'm typing out these remaining details, like as, as you know, I, 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 hang on, where did I type that? Where did I type that? I, I had a post on Pam, didn't I? Okay, here it is, here it is. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to continue typing this post, okay? 
Um, uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna create another post. Like, comment below if you are ready to get started. Um, also state your country so I know which broker to offer you, okay? It will also help my admins to mention that if your country is in the EU zone, because EU zone consists of a lot of countries, uh, so like uh, um, if you are in EU, please state to help my admins uh, <clears throat> link you with the correct broker. Okay, <clears throat> so example, um, ready, UK, you know, like ready, um, Singapore, you know, that kind of thing. And <clears throat> if you're also interested in referring people, okay, and you want to be notified, Mexico is fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Because it's only US that like, <clears throat> okay, how many of you are in the US? Anyone from here in the US? Comments, please. North America, anyone? <clears throat> um, okay, if anyone is watching a replay of this and you're from the USA, okay, the unfortunate news is that we do not have a regulated broker that I can offer you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a poll on my page. It's not there yet. I'm going to create a poll on my page and I'll email everyone for it <clears throat> to, I'm going to list a few options that you can choose. All of them are unregulated. And then you have to poll is your collective decision. I do not want to be held responsible to anything uh, that happens at the broker level because that's not, that's not my problem. Okay. Um, I know a lot of you want to start, but yeah, a lot of you in the US are waiting to start, but there is that risk. So my only advice is that, you know, you, you just, just don't invest life changing money on it. Even if you all decide on one broker, but you know, none of them is safe. You can all do your due diligence, but it's not fully safe because it's not fully regulated. You never know, but it could also be safe if they have good practices. So we never really know these things, but I don't want to be responsible for that decision. So I'm going to make it your decision. <clears throat> and once you decide, I'm going to set up that PAM account and then you guys can run with it. And I'm going to create a set files for that broker. Make sense? So if you're watching a replay, that's what I'm going to do for the people in the USA. Okay. I don't want to have to say no to you. I'm saying no for now, but if you guys can collectively decide on something, um, yeah, then we, then we can work. Okay. Um, so if you are also ready, uh, if you're also wanting to promote this to anyone, either friends, family, uh, acquaintances or whatever. I, I don't, I don't, I don't really know. Um, or like, let's say you are, you could be internet marketing. Uh, comment, like, comment with uh, ready, <clears throat> country, and F, okay? Or like ref. So, example, that could be like uh, ready, uh, Mexico, ref. <clears throat> then I know, I know how, I, I know what kind of follow up. Hey there, Victor. Okay, so do you have any broker in mind? I was looking at FX Glory, Traders Way, Talonex, but you sure to, you you can you can go ahead and rec uh, like mention any any other one as well. <clears throat> um, hey there, Votong Lian. It's great great to hear from you. It's been a long time. Good to see all these familiar people coming back on board. So go ahead to this post. Okay. Um, comment on this post. I'm just putting it in the, if you're ready to get started, so my admins can give you follow up actions. Okay, so 
So this is a post. I've just posted it <clears throat> in the chat. You can refer to your chat. The link is there. Go and check it out. Okay. And uh, I'm going to continue typing the information on that post that I, I was just, I did halfway. Uh, okay, so you're saying that FX Choice accepts USA. What's the max leverage? I would love to have one to 500, but if we had one to 400, probably could make two of that. Nice. Okay. Okay. Then I could speak with them. If you think they're, they're good, you have withdrawals and everything, I could speak to them. I'll include to them as an option. So I will, I'll put a majority vote on my page and then people can just vote for it. Okay. So um, for self-run, you uh, minimum 300. <clears throat> By the way, uh, so when, when you test out with 300, so when you test out with 300 on the PAM, <clears throat> you're not gonna make, you're not gonna make squat. You're probably gonna make money that's not even enough to cover your gas on a month to month basis. So the purpose of that is not for you to, to <clears throat> uh, not, it's, not, it's not for you to actually make money, it's for you to test out. So just so you know that, you're not gonna rich, be, rich, be rich on that. Um, <clears throat> It's, it's kind of funny, like some people have huge money sitting in there, sitting in like, you know, in, in, in useless stuff, but, but um, like, I mean, it's a Singaporean thing. I'm, I'm Singaporean, a lot of Singaporeans have a problem there. They just try to, they save on unnecessary, they, they, they save on the wrong things and the saving is their downfall. Like they don't, <clears throat> they don't put the money in income generating stuff. Instead they save it, just do nothing of it. And, and, and gradually over time, they just work on how they're gonna save money on their lifestyle so that the money can last a longer time. Eventually it's gonna run out. So, you know, like test it out just so that it works and then put in more. Then you can start think of, okay, this month I'm gonna replace this cost. Okay, next, month, next month I'm gonna replace that cost. The third month I'm gonna have my, my, my mortgage installment covered. Um, fourth month I'm gonna start covering my car, my, my car loan as well. So it's like, you know, once you see it working for you, you know, just, just seek to do more with it. Okay, for self-run, whether it's self-run or EA, same, the same thing. Self-run all the more. Yeah, you should start with a, what's the min, uh, self-run. Okay, minimum is like a, mm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Hmm. Okay, so second option just to read through the minimum five hundred for all members, thousand. Uh, minimum thousand for new members. Okay, obviously you can, you can, you can do more than that. Uh, you need a VPS. I have a cheap VPS to recommend. But let's say if you are, <clears throat> if you are running on like five hundred bucks or something that you probably may want to, um, you could, you know, you what you could, well, you could actually just go to the broker's free VPS and see that. Let's say you find it, you can't hit, you can't hit the, you can't hit the the lots to get it free in the first month then, well, maybe you get it free in the second month because you're compounding, right? Um, <clears throat> so you can do that. Otherwise, you can also use a free, uh, no, sorry, a cheap VPS that I can recommend. Okay. Um, and then what's the thing? Uh, like for tree, for those who are interested in both. So for those who want a bit of both, 
set aside a larger sum of money in one and smaller amount in two so you can tinker around with settings without affecting your main account and only shift stuff around when you're more stable and confident. <laughs> okay, so this is the gist of it. And uh, well, is there, is there any other questions? Who else is ready to start? Or let's, let's say, okay, you can also type, well, some of you, if I perfectly understand if, if you know, you need to, you need to sort out some sums or you know, it could be, you know, a certain time of the month is not payday yet, whatnot. Um, and you need to get things together, but you're interested. Okay, if you're interested, uh, just type in there, interested, and I'll, so my admins can follow up you as well. Interested in which country it is. Let's go ahead and type that out. So just so that, like, let's say if you, if you, if you need more time or, or roughly, like, if you're interested, uh, you know, how long from now do you, would you like a follow-up? Okay. Once again, for those of you interested in doing referrals, uh, I did mention my referral program, huge opportunity because, I mean, you, 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 you never know. I mean, well, heck, um, <clears throat> if you could give a good recommendation to people, some of you could be making, like, hundreds or even thousands per month as referral income because, by the way, I do pay 10% of, <clears throat> I, I do pay 10% of generated earnings as commission to you. Okay. Um, could you guys, uh, okay, Rogelio and Indrit, could I, could I have you guys comment in the Facebook message so that, because I mean, once I close this webinar, uh, this will be, this will be gone. The chat will be gone, but the group still remains. So I would, have, I would like to have you just comment over there so my admin can follow up. And, uh, <clears throat> and that my admin, well, you can provide my admin's information, like, you know, when you get, get started and so on. Um, and uh, any questions at this point of time, you can ask it in the chat. You can ask it anywhere here. Anything that I didn't cover, okay? I uh, just want to recap. Oh, um, okay, uh, Catherine, there's, there's, one, there's, one, there's one thing. For those people in Australia, we can offer them PAM, but through different brokers. So it will be on FXTM. Uh, for those people in Europe, nothing can be done. So Australia is still possible. Any for Australia, we still can run on the PAM program. There's the automated, fully hands-off. Uh, for those of you with smaller sums of money that Sometimes I understand some of you, um, you know, you want, you want to start small, not because you want to start small, but that's all you have. You can start on the PAM. If it's anything less than a thousand, um, rather than running your own EA, I would recommend that you start on the PAM. Uh, no, sorry, sorry. Anything less than 500, okay? Between 300 and five, 300 to 500, <clears throat> if you are thinking of starting it by yourself, the, the self-run, you're barely going to cover your, your VPS subscription costs and then you're going to make some extra. Yeah, yeah, sure, you're going to make some extra, but it's not, it's not so worthwhile because VPS can cost money. So, um, and if you're, if you're a tweaker, yeah, sure. If you're a tweaker, go ahead, buy the VPS, do it yourself. I just showed you earlier that you can make, you know, like, what, 100 bucks on 500 in, in two weeks on those settings, on that pair that I showed you straddling those big news events and still okay. But um, if, it's anything, if it's anything else, if let's say you want moderate risk, for, you can forget about it. If you're running moderate risk, just go on PAM. Okay, if that money is important, you go on PAM because the commission is gonna cost you less than a VPS fee. <clears throat> Over 1K is really your choice. Over 1K, you can do yourself um, if you know what you're doing. Okay, attend my webinars, watch my videos, 
and ask constantly. Send me your screenshots constantly. For example, like over in this group, we have people and I believe there'll be more people today posting. I think a lot of these people haven't woken up yet. But when they wake up and see that some of these trades on New Zealand USD make money, some of the Aussie USD made some big money, okay, they will be posting. So I mean, this is why it looks like they post your shots. And then you can, and they say, you, you, I'm, 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 you know, I'm, I'm really glad when I get to see all these results uh, from the students and then they're posting, you know, like, see, 30 bucks, you know, the first day running. And it's, it's gone, it goes up, it goes up, still within the first day, okay? Um, you guys continue to comment in the group. In the meantime, I wanna show you this awesome video, okay? This awesome video, uh, student took the trouble to do simultaneous back tests. And I, I didn't mention to you like how the hedging works, but I think this is an even better way. You can visually see how the hedging works, okay? It's buying and selling at the same time. I maybe should have shown you this earlier. <laughs> um, what I specifically want you to notice is that my system is different from many different morning guild systems in the sense that um, I have taken trouble to do the settings in such a way that there's going to be very little discrepancy between the buy and the sell. Okay. I keep it very tight. You see now there are only a few dollars apart. And very often when one of it is having three positions or two positions, the other one will have three or two as well. If one is having four or five, the other one will have four or five as well. So what it does is that it locks down your profit. And when they both take profit, they take profit at around the same time or in sequence so that your margin is being relieved, your equity is being built, your risk is being reduced, and you see constant profit to your account. All right. <clears throat> so these, this, this is a, a major breakthrough. Um, my current system has one third the operating risk on previous system. So as a matter of fact, uh, what that means to me is that, well, I think I will just keep it this way because I mean, it's making good money, I'll just keep it this way. Or I could actually up the ante a little bit, maybe increase the, increase the position size by like, uh, you know, um, by 20, 25%, all right? And it's gonna be a little bit more profitable, but like I said, my main account is for the, is for, it's a one size fits all. So I just wanna make it stomachable for everyone across the board. All right, can you see how one's making? Okay, that's, a, that's the economics thing right there. Called depreciating returns. So, so one starts recouping and the other one just, okay, one took a profit, the other one starts recouping. So I, uh, like this, this uh, member of mine specifically made this video simultaneous and I think it's brilliant. You can see exactly how it works. Look at how that's managing your risk. Is that amazing or what? You know, what would be even more interesting and I'm gonna put this on a version uh, 2.055 banked profit. <clears throat> I think that'll be really exciting. So when I do a test like this again, you can see how much profit has been made on each, each of these charts. It'll be super, super exciting. But heck, you know that when the trades are closing, money is being made, right? So that's all you, you need to, that's all you need to see. And, uh, Okay, jo uh, Josephine, can you, can you uh, type in this chat as well? Josephine, just type in the Facebook, in the Facebook group because like I said, if you type in the chat, uh, it's gonna get erased the moment this is closed. So just post over there. Uh, questions, any other questions? Any questions on you know, money management or whatever, or like method, strategy? Maybe some of you need some advice, need help decide something.
please comment in the Facebook group if you're ready to start or interested to start, okay? So that we can get you the links or give you the correct follow-ups that you need. <coughs> Oh, Gerald Tetz, I see you in the group as well. I mean, I see, I, I see you in the, on the webinar. I, I, I remember your name from the webinars that we used to do. Let's see who else I recognize. Tang Ying, yes, I remember you as well. Yi Li, thank you for the video, by the way. So I'm going to put in the 2.055, uh, the option to, the option to, uh, you know, I mean, track the profits if you don't mind if you could do a video with that again side by side that would be really awesome questions guys okay otherwise uh, I, I just let's put it this way two minutes and then uh, if there are no more questions we'll just wrap up and if anyone is watching a replay of this video um, Obviously, you can't participate in the chat, so you have to put your questions in the right places in the Facebook group. Yeah, go ahead. How long is the training for self-manage? Okay. Um, I, have, I have like three videos already set up, uh, webinars basically. Uh, and, and that's enough and, and you can watch it at a fast pace. It's actually really easy. I'm more than happy to do a separate webinar for anyone who comes on. Um, like, you know, let's say, you know, I'll, I'll do it in batches, like a, a webinar as well. <clears throat> okay, um, Anibal, Jayco, Ruben, Natalie, uh, if you guys have not commented in the other thread, just comment there as well so that I know uh, I know to get back. <clears throat> okay. Yes, Joel. Thank you for asking this question. This is a really, really good question. Okay, this is a perfect question. So, um, okay, is anyone in a hurry? I, I will... I would like to demonstrate this. Okay, would anyone like, like me to demonstrate this? The big spike, can the spikes blow the account? This is one of the most powerful uh, aspects of my system. Who wants to see that? How could I possibly forget? Who else wants to see a demonstration of this? Okay, let's do it. So in order to do this demonstration, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the strategy tester. I'm going to pick like, a, I think a pound or something. <clears throat> something with the bigger, the move, the better. Okay. Let's pick something that is all time. Let's just try and run it with the same settings. And you know what I'm going to do? Um, I'm going to click this one. Okay, let's try it. Let's try a test with this settings. Uh, I'm also going to increase the position. And I increase it to a bigger amount. Okay, 2000. Okay, let's do this like that. Okay, this is the, this is the cell. By the way, I didn't do any new optimization. I only used the settings generated from just now, applied over a longer period of time. So it actually held on very well. It held on very well in the three months period. This create this actually created about over extra thousand uh, dollars. Very impressive. But <clears throat> now 
you know what? I'm going to do something here. Drawdown, no more than 7% drawdown. And let's see what happens. Okay. Yeah, this is what I wanted you to see. And I can actually set this to five as well. <clears throat> so this is, when did it cut off? This cut off on the, hang on. I wanna run this from January. So in the beginning of January, this already, hang on, this, the dates are not correct. Never mind, you, you get, uh, I'll fix that later. Okay, this cut off on, on the, on the 5th, on the 5th of March. Now I'm going to run it on the other one. This, by the way, is a loss protection stop. Uh, I think I have to re-optimize it. No, no, no I'm, I'm, that takes too much time. I'm going to load up some existing settings. And then I will change it to the other one. Okay, just just spare me for a while. I have to, and you asked a very good question. I want to show you how we are guarded against that because we are guarded against that. So I always put my drawdown cutoff a bit higher, a bit higher than the other one. <clears throat> Let's make this a 10,000 account because that's what I'm familiar with. And the inputs 0 0.03. Exact, mm -hmm. but it's true. Okay. Very good. Now we're we'll changing by. This will definitely give you an example because there are no results for the sell. That means there will be results for the buy. Hmm, no. I think you have to try a different pair. Short answer, I got you covered, but I want to show you how I got you covered as well.
<clears throat> okay, this might take some time. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a video on this uh, to show you exactly how that works. Uh, I've done it before in my webinars, but you know, like I, I think I have to find a pair that I can use as a good example. Uh, someone that actually has results. So let me explain it to you, okay? Uh, Ruben and anyone who else wants to, to know about this, basically, if you're looking at this, um, this drop, for instance, sudden big drop, if we have buy positions that are that that occurred like you know way way above this, let's say if we have buy positions that happen like here, okay, and then for whatever reason they couldn't close and it's still like that, okay, and then you have the big drop. Once it drops to maybe around here, your five percent cutoff will be hit, but your sales are running. And your sales could be running for the, it could be in the overall, let's say what if the, the pound goes into, you know, either a big spike up, a big spike down because of Brexit. We don't know, all right? But we know that based on the current settings, either the buy or the sell will be fucked. So the EA will cut off at 5% loss and disengage and allow the other one to keep running. When it disengages, um, you know, basically we recommend that you just stay put for at least two days. In the meantime, just let, just let the other one run. The other one's gonna just write the trend and keep making money for you. In the meantime, you can redo some settings for the one that, dis that disengaged. So uh, I have this, I, I got probably gonna go into my, so my webinar replays to show that how that happened. I should have prepared that in advance, but um, you, there will be some pairs, and actually the pound pairs are the one uh, that basically like on a three months period, it could be one of it has made like 7K and the other one in the first week of January cut off with a $500 loss on a $10 account. So like who cares if you lost 500 here but you already made 7K there. So you're net 6.5K up, okay? That, that, is, that, is, that is the gist of the answer that I wish to share with you. What is the biggest point in that? Yes, if there's a bigger spike than that, let's say if there's a bigger spike that's correlated across all the markets, um, what's gonna happen is that it's gonna disengage from all the losing charts and all the profiting charts will continue. And here's the thing, if it is a big spike, all right? If it's a big spike, 500 pips, maybe you're, you got stopped out at the first 120 but it keeps going for another 380 pips. And that is more than enough for you to recoup what you just lost. Does that understand your question? I mean, this is the beauty of this system. Cutting the winners short and letting the winners run. Obviously we don't want to have, uh, you know, the, the stop out to happen. And as a matter of fact, last week uh, there was such a, cock up in the system because the programmer, he made the drawdown stop a global one applied to all charts instead of just one. I was like, I was like hopping man. I was like, what the heck is this? But I mean like at the end of the day, um, I mean, he is the best programmer that, that I've, I've found in like seven months. So I'm still working, still working very well with him. <clears throat> the pound pairs have Pretty crazy range, uh, like 200 pips on some days. But what I'm really guarding against is, is like the super big movements that can be, you know, like 1,000 pip. Very rare. But sometimes it happens with the Swiss franc especially. I witnessed that. So you may have witnessed that. 12,000 pips in five minutes. No, sorry, 1,200 pips in five minutes. <clears throat> so that's the kind of thing that we protect, protect ourselves against. Um, for that reason as well, the currency pairs that I've chosen are very carefully selected. So as you can see, currently I don't have any, any pound pairs running. All these other ones are, okay, let me I just close some of these unused charts. Okay, is it these ones? I don't have anything running on it. 
uh, it's only there for me to show you stuff. But like I've chosen stuff for movement. I've chosen stuff for turnover, like USD JPY is for turnover. Uh, Euro USD is for, you know, overall it's just so good. Aussie USD is quite good turnover. It's like, like an in-between of Euro USD and, Aussie, and USD JPY. Your Aussie, actually, I wanted to do Aussie New Zealand. Aussie New Zealand is, is good, but the commission is just too high. No point. So I'm working at this one instead, and it's not bad. Um, New Zealand USD, yes, there's very good movement. Um, and uh, as you can see, this one actually made some nice money in the span of time that we are having this webinar as well. All right. So today is going to be a very good good day for the EA. Um, I, th I think maybe there could be a, there could even be a revision in the daily performance. All right, any more questions? I, I know I just went on for a very long time, uh, but I'm, I'm really appreciating you guys for staying on this whole time, um, devoting your, your time over here. And, and, you know, if there's any of you that has something that's unanswered, <clears throat> that you're, maybe you're listening for something, well, it will be easier Easier, uh, much easier for me to be able to answer you completely if you just ask me a question. Because, you know, like some of you have been around. Um, I, so many of you mentioned that you're interested, um, but for some of you, you've just been listening. I don't know whether you have a question for me or something. So just please go ahead and ask. Is there any doubts? Okay. Maybe it's a bad experience. Maybe it's because like you've been, in, involved in similar systems in the past, had a bad experience. You think this was kind of good, but you just don't want to put your foot forward. So I perfectly understand that. I just want to know what your position is. <clears throat> All right, uh, last minute. Okay, last minute, and you just, just go ahead and if there's something that you want to get off your chest, just go ahead. For those of you who may be watching a uh, uh, replay of this, uh, you want some questions answered, go to the group, this group, and just answer it. Uh, I will, for those of you watching the replay, I'll most probably post a Facebook group link as well. Um, you know what, if you are also interested in Forex and if you are um, starting out here, you can, if you deposit more than a thousand, I can also give you entry into my Forex learning group as well. That's the best place for you to learn. If you're a former member, uh, the same, in like 300, 500, whatever you can, eat, I, I'll just let you into my that group so that you know exactly what's going on. And Anto, I'm willing to make an exception for you because I know you're from Indonesia. And like um, the Indonesian dollar is like fairly weak in the USD, so I, I, I'm willing to make an exception for you. <clears throat> and you have been around for quite some time as well, so I, I, I remember you, I'll, I'll make an exception for you to get, to get into that group. So just, um, Open up your account, speak to, speak to the admin. Uh, I think Catherine will know and she, she will arrange for you to be put into the group. So I have a lot of, a lot of videos there in Forest Learning Group and you can just check it out. Like there's babypips.com but it's a big waste of time in my opinion because a lot of stuff there is obsolete and doesn't work anymore. <clears throat> Isn't a Haken actually a strategy? Um, you know what? There is no strategy. 
<clears throat> there's no strategy as to how the trades are placed. It's a, it's a very, very simple straddle, okay? But the algorithm comes into work um, when it identifies and or rather tries to, tries to close off trades at a midpoint of a channel, <clears throat> okay? So it will try to close the trades and the midpoint of, of, of a channel. So that means to say that, okay, like my, my sell, okay, my, you see, my sell position took a profit over here. As you see, this one says sell. This one started, that means the previous one ended here. And then um, now a second sell position has just been placed, okay? And my, that means to say that my buy position, um, you know, once there's, once again, okay, this, once the sell goes into a profit, uh, the buy position would have maxed out its peak, uh, its peak yield as well. And then that will close. And then we have a very small number of pips, a small number of dollars in between the buy and the sell, just like what you saw in the video when the two screens were there. That is the main component of the money management. So as, as to entering a trade, it is, there's no strategy to entering the trade, but there's a strategy to managing the trade. I once had, I once cracked my brains on, you know, what would be the best strategy to use for the entry, but I realized that it doesn't need it. And just manage it up. I mean, so like in the first part of the time I'm working on all these EAs, also like wasted a lot of time to define the logic for the trade entry, I realized that it wasn't necessary. Okay, so if there's no other questions, um, I hope I've given you a good explanation and presentation of my system and I look to seeing you guys on board. Okay, I hope that this can, this can uh, change the way you invest online. And also, um, I know that some of you, or maybe more than half of you have been involved with me in the binary lab uh, in the past. And speaking from uh, the position of someone who works a lot of traders, I know how it is, okay? I know that what happens is that we get results, we get empowered, we, we trade. We lose money, we doubt ourselves, we, we throttle down. We lose more money, we question our motives, and then, you know, we, we, we maybe we take a sabbatical, we try again with a small sum, scale up, and the same thing, it's, it's always in that cycle, it's like that doing well, scale up, losing, scale down. And then sometimes, you know, when we, when we got too ahead of ourselves, sometimes we receive a lot of success. We sometimes do something really stupid, uh, fail to under, understand the situation and, and, and we make some, some dumb mistake. The biggest problem with manual trading, uh, I'm not trying to say manual trading is bad. Manual trading is good because without manual trading, I would not be able to, to, to invent these strategies. Uh, okay. Hey, Gerald, okay, the group is here. This is near to a holy grail, yes, okay. Um, the, the holy grail will be when I'm able to create a logic that can keep the floating loss to either a zero or near zero or even into a profit. Once I have achieved that, that will be the holy grail. But right now, it is like floating loss between one or two percent, which is very different from my previous version. Version 2.04, floating loss about eight, nine percent, sometimes even 10. So that is a big upgrade, big upgrade. Very, very close to a holy grail. I, I'm not trying to boast, but you know, it is that good. As a big user of, of systems in the past, uh, having made money, having lost money, um, having lost money due to 
reasons, like I mentioned, people trying to push it without proper understanding uh, or to please other people. You know, I've lost money. Like many, many of you heard of a, a real story where many years ago I started out with like 5K topped up to like 17, account grew to 88K US, no, no, J Japan elections. I had, I had like three JP pair, JPY pairs running and broker was also being fishy on the, on the price spike. And then, you know, got margin call, um, couldn't react, lost uh, like from 88 down to, down to like 5.5K in 30 minutes. So it was the most agonizing time. Didn't know what to do with it. My margin was used up, couldn't do anything about it. With these experiences in mind, I program a system that doesn't just stupidly take the trades. Um, one second, I'm gonna hang up the phone calls. It's annoying. Okay. So um, I, you had a question. Um, before that, no, hang on. What was the question before that? Like, um, sheesh. Oh, was I talking about something before this? I w oh, yes, I was talking about manual trading. So, um, on the other hand, over here, if you see that you're making money, you will, you will keep up with it because if you keep if you're making money, you will stay. And not only will you stay, but you will scale up. So I would like, uh, you know, like. If you are a trader, obviously, you know, if, if you are a trader, you should learn how to do the self-managed one. You should start, you could start with, you could start with, um, like, you could start with the, what do you call it? Okay, I have two brokers, okay? If you're on PAM, I would, I would probably recommend that you go with uh, FX Primus for most part. My admins will tell you this anyway. If you are doing it on self-managed, um, I would actually recommend like FXTM there because of the higher leverage. It's like one in a thousand for the, they, they offer the one in a thousand for some of the bigger accounts. And they have an account that's very good. It's easy and zero. And it's gonna be a good platform for uh, my upcoming system as well, okay? Which is gonna be the, like the four to 10% per day uh, system that I'm testing. Uh, aggressive, very aggressive. It needs the kind of leverage and needs the kind of full spread. Um, for those in Europe, that's not available to you. Um, on uh, FXTM broker is not available to you with that kind of leverage. So it's going to be FX Prince. So I mean, my MS will fill into you all this stuff. So in, anyway, um, like when you get started out, if you are a trader, you probably, if, but you're a trader, someone you have demoralized in the past, get on the PAM, get some results. Uh, if you want to, if you're comfortable with that, just, just keep doing that. Uh, but you know, some of you, as time goes by, you may want to be able to have increased control and that's perfectly up to you. If you want to, uh, you know, like if you start out like that, that way, we can, we can definitely fix you up with, with a uh, self-managed one as well. So you can just experiment and, and have fun with it. <laughs> okay. So that's all for now. Thanks for being such a great audience. Good training.